Hello, this is Dr. Kamani, licensed clinical psychologist. I have received this question numerous times from Black women, and I wanted to just address it really quickly. Um, so I've been asked, why did not I sue my former employer? Um, and they talked about, you know, I, I could have filed a, a complaint with the EO and all the kind of stuff. So why did not I sue? So I'm here to talk about my reasons for not suing. Um, and also what I've heard from other Black women. Um, so this video is for Black women in toxic jobs and for Black women particularly who might be thinking about leaving a toxic job. They might be thinking, it might be the baby stages of I can't stand this job to I've already left. So this video is for you. So for me, I did not take legal action um, because I was going through another lawsuit in relation to um, suing my son's school for negligence. So I did not want to, I did not, I, I didn't have the bandwidth. I didn't have the, the mental anything to get involved in another lawsuit because I was already involved in a lawsuit. And this lawsuit that I was involved with his school just settled and had been going on for five years. Okay. So I was in the middle of that. So I was not in a position to uh, do that for myself and to put my family through that. I would have just been totally depleted. I would have just been done. Um, so that's why I did not do that. However, I do want to say that I would be open at this point to a class action suit or something like that, as long as I wasn't the only one carrying the load and going through the law a lawsuit, because going through a lawsuit is extremely stressful. It's extremely stressful. And I have encountered Black women who have taken legal action and they have actually asked to be guests on my YouTube channel. And I look forward to them coming on. But we are very mindful of not scheduling them until their lawsuits are, are settled or whatever. So that's done. So you will be hearing from the experience of Black women who have decided to take legal action and who have won. Whatever they've done, they've won in terms of showing that the job was causing harm and that they were eligible for, for, for damages. So again, they're still wrapping that up. So they're not my guests currently, but they will be coming forward and telling their story in terms of not only what happened in the lawsuit, but what you know contributed to them filing the lawsuit and what was their process? Because I do want Black women to know about their options in relation to a toxic job. So you may decide, I just wanted to be done with this place. I don't want to have any more contact with this place. That might be you. So when you engage in a lawsuit, that job is still a part of your life throughout the term of that lawsuit. So you're going to have to retell what happened to you over and over and over again. Some Black women are in the position where they say, you know what, I need to stand up for myself and for other people who come behind me and say, you will not do this to anyone else. So that might be you, or you might be in the position of saying, you know, I just want to just move on with my life. I don't want to deal with this job anymore and what they did to me or whatever, and you might believe in karma that was going to come around to that. They're going to get it and they will, they will get it, but you may not be aware of or, or be in the process of that happening. It just may just come back to, well, it is going to come back to them, but in relation to a lawsuit is that you are still connected to this in terms of standing up to them and saying no more. And there might be other ways that you um, seek to speak your truth and it may not be in terms of taking legal action. So again, I'm not discouraging anybody from taking legal action. I commend anyone who takes legal action against a toxic employer. I'm just sharing with you about why I did not at that time take legal action. But again, I'm open to a class action suit if there's other Black women who wanna you know, join with me about that. Um, but you know, I just wanted to just come on to talk about that because I get that question a lot. You should have filed a suit. Why didn't you file a suit? You could have done this. You could have done that. And yeah, I understand that. But I also understood in terms of what I had the capacity to do at that moment. And I encourage you to do that too. So if you are entertaining the thought of, of a lawsuit, anything like that, 
just really connect with yourself first to see if you have the mental wherewithal to even go through all that. And also with your family and your friends, check in with them to see, um, are you are you going to receive the support from them? Because it's going to take a lot out of you. So just make sure you have that community of support around you. So in closing, I will have Black women coming on talking about their dece- decisions to sue. And again, I fully support them. I think that's amazing. I, I support any Black woman who chooses to do that. But I also respect any Black woman who says, I don't want to. I just want to make sure I'm okay and get my healing, you know, in relation to leaving the toxic job. And I just, I just, I don't want any connection to that place. Okay. Or you might be like me. And I I said, you know, I don't want to do this at this point in terms of an individual lawsuit, might be open to a class action lawsuit. And I'm finding other ways to speak my truth and not be silenced and speak out against what has happened to me via YouTube, via other um, avenues in terms of sharing my story, because I don't want, I didn't want myself to feel ashamed about what happened to me. Again, this happened to me. I'm not a victim, but it happened to me. But as a result of what happened to me, I refuse to be silenced about it. And so the more that I talk about it, the hope is that I am helping other Black women share their stories, share their testimonies, recognize that you have options, and to get out of that toxic job. So talking about getting out of toxic job, that has been very healing for me. And I will continue to do it because I have so many Black women reaching reaching out to me, I would say every day you know, thanking me for, you know, talking about what I talk about. And again, I will continue to do so because it helps with my healing. But I also know from what I'm getting in terms of the feedback from other Black women is that I'm helping them heal too. And that's why I will continue to do so. So your healing may involve taking legal action. It may not. But again, if you're thinking about taking legal action, please consult with an attorney, check in with the attorney and see, do they feel like you have a case and, and ask them all the questions you need to ask, but also make sure that you check in with yourself to feel so that you can check in to see, is this something I want to do? And am I ready to stick this out for the long haul? Because generally lawsuits take years. And do you have a community of support around you to support you? So. Again, just want to talk about those options for you if you choose to move forward with that. And as I'm winding down, I just want to ask you to please be open to whatever resources that are available to you to help support your healing. There are resources available for you. And even if you decide to sue or not to sue, these resources are open for you. So again, therapy, phenomenal. I'll put information about all the resources that I mentioned in the description section of this video. And I'm asking you as you are helping yourself to also reach back and help another black woman who you know is experiencing a similar situation. Because unfortunately, there's so many of us who have had some type of a toxic job. When I talk to my guests for YouTube, I'll ask them, tell me about a toxic job experience. And they the vast majority of them will say, which one? I've had so many. So again, this is a very common issue. I don't want you to feel like you are alone or ashamed about what happened to you, but it is your decision about what you want to do about it. It is your decision in terms of if you want to stay, if you want to go, if you want to file a lawsuit, if you don't, it's up to you, okay? So again, resources are available to you. So I talked about therapy. I've talked about coaching, particularly with a black woman coach to help you figure out what your next steps are in terms of pivoting out of that job and doing much better once you leave. Because when I talk about healing, it's very hard to heal in that same environment that's beating you down. Generally, your healing really starts once you leave the toxic job. And then also the masterclass replay is an option for you. So the masterclass is already over. So it's the Save Yourself Masterclass, which is in collaboration between me 
and S. Emery Archer. So Emery Archer, if you don't already know, you should watch her. Um, she's the anti-HR HR lady. And so we talk about how to get out of that toxic job and, and really take care of your, your well-being, your psychological well-being, and also how to empower yourself with, with HR and how to work to get your coins if you if you choose to leave the, leave the job, okay? So all this information I just talked about will be in the description section. Please give this video a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know to suggest this video to other women in similar situations, other Black women in similar situations. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. Lifting as we climb consulting wellness services. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.